So our next story is the perfect representation of the impact your Notre Dame Day giving can have on the university community. Some Hall's been looking to update their basement, specifically the gym area for some time, but they needed funds to do so. After five years of Notre Dame Day gifts, the Hall now has enough to complete those renovations. Joining us now to talk more about the planned improvements are Father Matt Hovde, a congregation of Holy Cross priest and rector of Zom Hall, and Zom Hall resident Austin Rotter. Welcome to Notre Dame Day. Both of you, thank you for being here. Thanks thank for you for us. having us. My first question is for Father Hovde. For those of us who don't know, what's the current state of Zom's basement? Zom is a house that has been well worn there are 180 guys that live there it's in need of a little bit of sprucing up specifically the basement gym area where our gym is surrounded by load-bearing walls where it is which means we can't expand it we have a lot of sports teams in Zom we have a number of guys that participate in things like bangle bouts that need a space where they can really exercise the whole house also wants to be healthy and active so our plan is to move to a different spot in the building. It gives us a little more room for guys to exercise together. Our current gym fits two people in there at the most. We're going to be able to update it so guys can work out together, can spend time uh, with each other, enjoying each other's company, but also being healthy and contributing to a lot of the life of the house. And Father Havdi, what exactly are those planned updates? Can you go into a little more detail of there course. about those? Uh, so right now in our basement, we have an area that is kind of a dead end that we're going to put a wall in front of, give a little bit more space to them, uh, adding equipment. Right now we've got one rack, we've got some free weights, we have a punching bag. That's about all we have. So we're going to be able to invest in machines, get stuff if people want cardio in Zom. Also a little bit more machines for people to use for and, uh, just generally a healthy lifestyle. So we'll, we'll expand their options for working out as well as giving them an improved space. And we've mentioned earlier that donations from Notre Dame Day have gone toward these renovations in the basement. How crucial have those been to the renovations? Tremendously. It's a big project. Adding in several machines, putting in a new wall. Uh, th these are big investments that we're really grateful for, that we have the opportunity to offer the guys moving in this really new improvement. Will there be any grand opening for when those renovations are done? There will be a soft opening, so our, our whole basement will get a general uh, cleaning up, the gym being the big focus. But the first people that will actually see it are our first years moving in. Our basement's where the loading area is. Our first years walk into that spot first, so they'll actually be the first to see the new Zom basement. Now, when all the upperclassmen have returned, of course, we'll have a big celebration and, and gratitude for uh, what we're able to do in our house. But the first will actually be the, the new freshman who will see it for the first time. I'm sure the residents there are very excited they are. about that. Austin, my next question is, uh, is for you. What will these improvements mean to the men of Zom Hall as you're a resident there? Well, it's extremely important. I know the guys are excited to move out of a closet-sized uh, workout room and get a few more guys into the weight room at one time. Um, as Father Matt mentioned, we'll have guys training for bangle bouts all year. It would be sports or, again, bangle bouts. So having just a bigger area is great for the guys. Um, and now that the basement updates are covered, what's the next project for Zom Hall? Well, Zom prides itself on community, so we're always looking to build up the community. Um, the basement was one big thing like, where, where a lot of guys hang out. Um, we're really glad to make that a better place. We're looking forward to fixing the U lounges, getting those improved if we can. Does it kind of give you a sense of community to build these together for each other? Absolutely. Our uh, community in Zom really prides itself on unity of guys coming together, sharing their spaces. We have a very popular open door policy of guys wanting to hang out in the hallways with each other, not just going in the room and closing the door. So being able to improve the common spaces where they're going to spend most of their time together, where they're going to want to build community with one another are really important investments for us. So looking to the future of the lounges on each floor, getting those renovated so that guys don't need to show up and say, oh, I need in my room, I need to bring a TV, a couch, all these things. They just show up and the community's already there for them. And Austin, I'm sure you've heard from the other guys. What's the 
the level of excitement surrounding the new renovations in the basement. They're extremely excited. I've had guys coming up to me nonstop asking for different things, whether it be cardio or a new rack or a new punching bag, as all of those have kind of worn down. So uh, they're very excited for that. All right. Thank you both for joining us today. It's been great to talk to you. Congratulations. Thank you. On those renovations. Thank you.